Wow. Big news this week. Uh, I've got a Yahoo article in my hands here. McDonald's shuts U.S. offices, prepares for layoffs. This is from the Wall Street Journal. Uh, the fast food chain went so far. And, and I got to tell you, Alex, I can't figure out what's going on here. I'm going to do my best to do a little CSI analysis here. But I saw the news first of the week. McDonald's temporarily closed its offices for a couple of days. They sent an internal email asking U.S. and some international employees to work from home Monday through Wednesday. And uh, I, I saw this and I was like, when I first saw it, I was like, well, they're not shutting down McDonald's. I, 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 they're not, I, gotta, I mean, I don't go to McDonald's anymore. I'll tell you why in a minute, and this leads to some of this problem. But I thought to myself, oh, this is corporate offices. So I looked it up. Yep, that's the truth. Well, then it gets really weird. So they send a bunch of these white collar office, you know, executives. Yeah, this is not your your store workers, okay? Uh, and keep in mind, all this corporate stuff, okay, is separate from the people who are running these franchises and have bought in, okay? All right. So they sent the email to all these office white collar workers at McDonald's and international employees. Work from home Monday through Thursday. This was so that they could deliver staffing decisions virtually. Well, how many times have I talked about this on this program? It is the most insensitive, uh, unprofessional, bad branding moves. I'll break those three things down. First of all, it's insensitive to fire somebody over email or Zoom. That's just insensitive. It's not human. There's no dignity there that's wrong that's anti-human okay it's unprofessional in that real leaders step up in hard times with some character and look people in the eye and tell them the good news the bad news or the unknown that's just bottom of the basement level of leadership. That's why you're the leader. You got to do the hard stuff. Now, third thing is it's bad for your brand. I mean, we've seen these stories over the last several years. The better, was it the better.com? I believe this clown, the CEO fired thousands of people from his kitchen on a zoom call he was later ousted from his job and the board. It's bad for the brand of the company and bad for the brand of that bozo. He's forever stained professionally as the guy who was tone deaf to the point that he fired people while manufacturing fake tears from his kitchen table. So there's three reasons why continuing this practice of letting people go in mass via email or letting them go and not telling them about it. I'm looking at you, Google. People showing up to work. Can't even get in the door. Hey, my fob's not working. Yeah, they let you go. I apologize. You're working for soulless morons. You think I'm being too tough? I'm not. You're either soulless or you're a moron, and in some cases, they're soulless morons. You got to be a moron to think that that's a professional way to lay somebody off. But here come the McDonald's leaders in their clown outfits and big old red shoes, because this is clown-like leadership. And I don't mean to disparage the beloved figurehead of McDonald's, Ronald McDonald. The Ronald McDonald House is a wonderful, wonderful charity to the best of my knowledge. I liked Ronald McDonald growing up. I liked his mid-size red fro. I like the big red shoes. But I don't want my leader to act like Ronald McDonald. And this is Ronald McDonald leadership. Hey, let's send an email out to our uh, office workers and tell them to work from home for three days. That'll give us some time to huddle, have a powwow. Let's figure out who we're going to lay off. Yeah, that's a good move. 
Well, McDonald's, surprisingly, was not immediately available for comment. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is clown-level leadership. Hey, we're going to send all of our uh, executives and office workers home and uh, take three days to figure out who's staying, who's going. We're going to lay them off. And then when the media starts calling, we're going to go, oh, we didn't think this was going to be a big deal. McDonald's also asked employees to cancel all in-person meetings with vendors and other outside parties at its headquarters. So it was a straight shutdown. Now you're telling me that the people that this happened to were going, uh, everything okay? Oh yeah, that's fine. We're just canceling all of our meetings. We're going to go work from home for three days. No big deal. There are three mental health days. It's going to be okay. Well, that's what happened. And so they laid off and they're going to lay off who knows how many? I don't have the details in front of me. Now, I got to pivot because this is the kind of stuff that 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 you all are experiencing. Many of you, you're just a unit of production in a company and you're hoping each day to wake up and not see some stupid email like this where you are just a number that affects a stock price and you are summarily let go. You aren't valued. Well, so uh, articles have come out. Why are they doing this? Why are they doing this? Well, it's getting more expensive. Yeah, I get it. Employee wages are higher now. I get it. I get why a company would have to raise costs or not raise costs. But what I don't get is why we're going to lay people off like this. Why would we do that? I'm going to tell you why. There is not an ethic in the company to where leaders look at people, you, as someone who has a life, a life that's attached to this. Dreams, goals, challenges and problems that this job funds. They don't look at you as somebody who's maybe as a kid who's going through some medical stuff, and this is your livelihood. And so if you were to have to lose it, boy, you sure would like to be treated as well as possible. They don't look at you as somebody who's dreaming about a life 30 years from now that's better. They're not looking at you as somebody who longs to be free to live the life that you want. They don't look at you like that. You know what they look at you like? You are a paycheck that is attached to a line item in a budget. And you now become a unit of production that doesn't justify what our expense is attached to you and our stock price, our public image is more important than you. That's what's going on. And more and more, young people, middle-aged people, they're waking up to the reality that you may not have control at all over whether you stay or go. You want to take control of your life. You are dreaming of a better life. You got ideas in your head that you're thinking about. And you're going, if I get laid off because we go into a semi-recession or recession, how's that going to affect me? Ken, what do I do? I don't want to be another number who is victim to a mass layoff and you're treated like a unit of production. You can take control of your future. If that's you, you're feeling overlooked, overworked, underpaid, underappreciated, lost, confused about what to do. My event breakthrough is for you. You need to be at this event. KenColeman.com slash events. See you there. Let's take control of your future. <laughs> 